Here are a couple of examples of what we call tray frames for standard bar canvases. A tray frame is a frame that you just drop your artwork into and you can see right up to the edges. And these two examples have a step and the step is supposed to be visible so you have a nice gap in between the edge of your artwork and the frame. These tray frames really look their best when the artwork doesn't sit in front of the frame itself. It's either level with it or just set back a bit. And these two examples, this natural wood one is just a couple of mil deeper from the wall. And that actually influences how we're going to fix them together. So I'll just show you the first one. So if you position your canvas in place, like so, flip it over. And once again, I'm going to use the flexi plates here. It's quite a big step here, so you have to bend the flexi plates like so. And what you would do is put two screws in the back of the frame, bend the flexi plate round and put a single screw in the back of the stretcher bar of your canvas. And as with all the 8x10 canvases I've been using as examples, you probably only need one flexi plate on each side. And once you've done that, your canvas will be secure in its frame and then you just have to think about whether you want to hang it with mirror plates, picture cord or picture wire. That's the first example. The second example is this white tray frame. Artwork in like so. And this one, if I flip it over, what you'll notice is that the dovetail joins are much closer to the corners. Now why is that? I'll tell you why. It's because this is too shallow and the nail will just come, I mean the dovetail hole will just come straight through the frame and that will, um, that will make the frame very weak. So they have to be put in a corner. The problem with that is that the frame itself is just not quite as sturdy as some of the others because you see the joins right at the corner. So what you have to do instead of using flexi plates is actually drill holes. And these are holes that I've made earlier, little pilot holes. And you literally, all you have to do is get your screw and screw directly into the back of your canvas, <laughs> ensuring of course that your screw won't go through so that you see the tip of the screw at the front of your painting. Um, and so you just screw them in like so. You must always work on a clean, smooth surface so that your painting doesn't get damaged. I'm just gonna do screws on either side it's being a little bit stubborn anyway and just keep screwing and then eventually you'll get through and that will just hold it in position and then you can hang your picture.